Hi there, friends. Pastor Bill Johnson here from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California, with another moment of daily encouragement. This is We Are the Church. A reading, friends, from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, verses 1 through 4. This is the first of four segments within the larger body of Isaiah's work. These four segments comprise together something that is referred to as the servant songs of Isaiah. They refer to the suffering servant of God. You'll find the other passages in Isaiah 49, in Isaiah 50, and in Isaiah 52 and 3. But here, the first four verses of the servant song of Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I've put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry out or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice on the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Israel was in survive mode when these verses were probably gathered together and written down, just hanging on for dear life with enemies surrounding them and people being deported off to Babylon. Some of them were already in the deportation, dispersed into the larger world. And Isaiah, the prophet, had been feeling a bit um, disappointed in his own self. Lord, this is too much work for me. I can't make any headway. I'm preaching and preaching and the people aren't repenting and disaster is coming upon us. God's response to Isaiah was to say, it's too small a thing for you, Isaiah, to just redeem the people of Israel. No, I am going to set you as a light to all the nations. And here we see the first glimpses of that. The coastlands are waiting for the teaching. All of the nations want to hear of the light of God. So the servant, whoever that individual is, and by extension, the whole nation of Israel is being lifted up as the servant of God. And it's interesting here that it's not lifted up as a powerful entity or as a mighty entity, nor as a conquering entity in the modern militaristic sense of the word. The victory that the servant of God wins is through patient endurance. We live in a disposable society today. If a, bruise, if a reed is bruised and bent and broken over, we just cut it out of the garden and throw it away. If a, if a candle has gotten down to the very last part and it's guttering out because it's almost out of wax, we just blow it out and get a new one. But not so with the servant of God. We'll not break off the bruised reed, but we'll contend for its right to be a part of the planter. We'll not blow out a dimly burning wick, but we'll allow it to extend its life um, and its light for as long as it, as it may. Nor will the servant cry out or, or shout aloud in the streets or make a big fuss or a big to-do. But neither will the servant give up until justice has been established in all the land. It's one thing to dispose of people or things that are no longer of use to us or that annoy us or that give us pause to just say, why am I even putting up with this? It's quite the other to wait these things out with patient endurance, trusting in the Lord, until in time, perhaps, we might see the redemption of those things that are uh, seeming less than meaningful to us. And so the servant shows to us a picture of humility and of uh, uh, meekness, but not weakness. It takes great strength to withstand all that the world can throw at us and not give in to the ways of the world. And the servant of God, whom we have come to know as Jesus, took it all in, turned it on itself, and paid it back with love.
These are remarkable themes. And the people of God have made these themes known to the world through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's pray. God, when we find ourselves exasperated with the things around us, frustrated at our powerlessness to do anything about it, we ask that you would turn us again to look at you, remind us of your presence, help us to cling to you and to trust you in every circumstance. And when the world seems crazy to us, remind us that you have loved it ever so much. And so, O oh Lord, rather than destroying that which displeases us, help us to endure it and to find the grace in it that you are finding and to yield to you and your love in every circumstance. Keep our eyes on you, O oh Lord, as we start this week. In Jesus' name, amen. And indeed, it is a Monday morning, so you have a whole week stretching out in front of you to get into all kinds of mischief and to accomplish all kinds of things for the Lord. Go out there and get it done. And I wish you all the best on the rest of this Monday. I want to remind you that you can find We Are The Church every Monday through Saturday right here on the YouTube channel for the First United Methodist Church of Orange. And I want to remind you today to uh, stay in love with God and to do all the good that you can. And remember to do no harm. I'll see you tomorrow.